Hey there, welcome to my channel, Harshivo Edu. If you are a beginner technical writer or an intermediate level technical writer and you are looking out for some clear, concise and crisp information about technical writing, then you are at the right place. Link for this course is already given in the description box mentioned below. So let's get started. Google created this course basically for engineers and their technical writers but now this course is available for all the technical writers in the world and according to me this is a must go course for all the technical writers in the world for the freshers and beginners and the intermediate level technical writers. This course has two parts, Technical Writing 1 and Technical Writing 2. Technical Writing 1 tells you about the grammar portion. So let's go through each slide and see what's there. They have started with parts of speech, the definition and example, noun, pronoun, adjective, verb, adverb, preposition, conjunction, transition. The best thing that I like about this course is they have given exercise and their answer for clarification. I would personally recommend this course to all the technical writers. See, verbs, adjectives, conjunctions. The next slide is about words. So here they say that they researched documentation extensively and it turns out that the best sentence in the world consists primarily of words. They have given beautiful examples how we should not use the short forms how we should use the terms consistently, how to use acronyms properly, when to use acronyms and the related exercise. Next slide is about active voice. So let's be active on this topic. So there's a saying that we should always write sentences in active voice because it's straight, clear and good to know for non-native English speakers. I like this example. So here the passive sentence is code is interpreted by Python but code is compiled by C++ and see how beautifully it is written in active voice which is short, clear and concise. Python interprets code but C++ compiles code. I really love the exercise part.
The next one is clear sentences. So like a comedian always seeks for funniest results and the horror writer seek for scariest result but the technical writer seeks for the clearest results. So how to write clear sentence? Writing clear is an art. Writing short sentences is an art. It also tells about how to minimize certain adjectives and adverbs and make the sentence more beautiful. All this comes with practice. The more you practice on the sen sentences, the more you would write better. Next is short sentences. So here basically they have emphasized on minimalism, how to minimize and write beautifully. The next one is about list and tables. It tells when to use bulleted list, when to use numbered list, when to use embedded list. So bulleted list is basically for unordered items and numbered list is for ordered items. So in procedures we use numbers and let's say if we have to tell about benefits, we can use bullets. This slide is also best because it tells about parallelism, which is a strong pillar in technical writing. There should be a rhythm in your writing. The next one is about paragraphs, audience, audience analysis is the best part for technical writing. It also tells about how to do a perfect audience analysis. The next one is about documents. A good document begins by defining its scope. For example, we should always start about this document describes the overall design of project frambles. So always write for your audience before you write. Think like your audience. Break your topic into sections. The next one is about punctuation use. When to use commas. When to use semicolons dashes and dashes parentheses the next one is about markdown this is optional this is for experienced technical writer according to me and here you go with summary and I really like the summary part that's why I'm going to read this for you because this is like best thing for technical writers to use terms consistently, 
avoid ambiguous pronouns, prefer active voice to passive voice, pick specific verbs over vague ones, focus each sentence on a single idea, convert some long sentences to list, eliminate unneeded words, use a number list when ordering is important and a bulleted list when ordering is irrelevant, keep list items parallel, start numbered list items with imperative words, Introduce list and tables appropriately. Create great opening sentences that stabilize a paragraph central point. Focus each paragraph on a single topic. Determine what your audience needs to learn. Fit documentation to your audience. Stabilize your document's key points at the start of the document. So the key points basically I write at the end after finishing the entire documentation process because once you complete the procedure part then you will have overall in and out knowledge about the topic. So let's go to the technical writing tool. This one helps technical people to improve their technical communication skills. It tells about targeting audience, learning objectives. So it starts with self-editing. Here it tells about some crisp tricks about editing the technical document. They have suggested style guides. I follow Microsoft style guide. They have suggested about Google developer documentation style guide. This is really good style guide. So this is the best tip about editing that read it out loud. If you read the sentence, you would get to know half of the mistakes and then come back to it later after finishing it the first drop. Change the context, find a peer editor and there is exercise too. The next one is organizing large docs. So if you are working on a thousand pages plus legacy document, then organizing that document could be little tricky. So here they are telling about the tricks, how to outline it. Navigating it, its headings. The next one is illustrating. Remember when your teacher assigned you a hefty chapter to read, you flip through the assignment section of the textbook, desperately hoping for yes, pictures viewing the illustrations was so much more fun than reading text. That's right. I did the same thing when I was a kid. So it's always good to incorporate pictures and graphs in a document. The next one is creating sample code. It tells about how to write correct and concise code that is quickly understanding and easily reused by other technical writers. And finally, the summary part. I will read this out 
for you adopt a style guide i follow mstp you can use chicago or the google style guide think like your audience read documents out loud return to documents well after you have written the draft find a good peer editor outline a document alternatively write free form and then organize introduce a document scope and any prerequisites prefer task based heading disclose information progressively consider writing the caption before creating the illustration constrain the amount of information in a single drawing focus the reader's attention on the relevant part of a picture or diagram by describing the takeaway in the caption or by adding a visual cue to the picture create concise sample code that is easy to understand keep code comments short but prefer clarity over brevity avoid writing comments about obvious code focus your commenting energy on anything non intuitive in the code provide not only examples but also anti examples provide code samples that demonstrate a range of complexity make a practice of continuous revision provide different documentation types for different categories of users compare and contrast with something that readers are already familiar with in tutorials reinforce concepts with examples in tutorials note problems that readers may encounter so this is all about this course let me know if you like my video please subscribe to my channel for more technical writing related videos thank you bye bye for now